What's up? Yeah! Moto vlogging is the shit. Um, yeah, man, I'm loving riding around right now. You know why? Because my bike is happy. It's a happy bike. Just sits some maintenance on it. It's like it knows, you know. It's like, uh oh, I'll be good to you. My bike loves me right now! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, last time I was out riding with my buddies, uh, I found out afterwards I had a small oil leak on the damn thing, and I was just like, kind of annoyed by it, you know? Uh, I hadn't leaked out enough to show up on the dipstick, but still, you know, I had like some oil drizzling down the side of it. I always hate that. And it was about time we needed to be changed anyway, so I fixed the small leak, it was no big deal. Um, but yeah, the oil I had is the same oil I've had since I went and did the track day. It's still decent looking, but it makes me sleep better knowing it's changed. Did that, you know, I, I uh, did the tire pressure, adjusted, lubed up the chain, lubed, adjusted a few other things here and there. It's like you do all that and you just like, so you can just feel it riding around and your bike's like, it's probably more mental than anything, but you're just like, oh yes, it, it runs so much better right now. I don't know if this is a great idea. It has rained a good bit in the last few days. Fuck it. Yeah. I love that though. I love, I love doing maintenance to something and then just going out and like riding it or or from a car, you know, driving right afterwards, just, <laughs> you feel like it just works so much better than it did before. Oh, yeah, let's try not to get stuck here. I just go a bit slow, because it's all sketchy right now. Whee! Yeah! That's mud. <laughs> you got, your front tire ever goes down, you just feel like that like kind of like that like squishy, sinky feeling. It's like, oh just stay on the front, I'll keep going. Bad times ahead if you slow down too much. Yeah. Dirt's not a big deal for a supermoto, it's really not. I mean, you know, like when it's hard packed dirt, like what I'm on actually right now. This is like a knobby tire is not going to be able to dig into this because it's so hard packed. So in a way, a street tire could work a little better. You have more surface on the dirt at all times. Uh, but it's mud. It's just sketchy as all hell. And you're completely screwed. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, wow. Four by four would be fun for that. And the bike's so happy right now. It's like, I love you. I love you, Jake. But you want to do a backflip? Let's not do that. I know it's a big mud pit coming up here. I can already see it. This is always here. Even when it's like droughting in Texas, I would pretty much be sure there's going to be water in this hole up here. Yeah, that thing is deep over there. Yeah! I know there's a lot of people though that will tell you like, you gotta have fresh oil, like you go to the track, I did, I did have Fresh, fairly fresh oil when I went to the track day. I had a, probably a few hundred miles on, I'm not gonna lie, but it was uh, still really clean. When I went to that track day, I probably also didn't rode since then, maybe another seven, eight hundred miles. 
And uh, yeah, I know there's a lot of track day guys out there. People will tell you, oh yeah, you gotta have fresh oil when you go to the track. And as soon as you get done, you need to change that oil again too. I'm like, I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe if you're in like some desert Baja or something, but my shit was fine, man. We're really right here, everyone on the highway will see me. Well, that was good times. There's fun times.